Okay, everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to uh, Human Resource Machine. So, this is going to be kind of an interesting situation. I haven't uh, gotten anybody's solutions for the past couple of problems, because this episode was filmed more or less sequentially. So, let's go to the sabbatical beach paradise. Could do without the trash. <laughs> of course they're here. That it? That's it. Why do you have a cup of... I don't even know. That looks like coffee. Not even a sea monster? Well, that was dumb. Countdown. Yes, welcome back. Tick, tick, tick. Time keeps ticking down. Let's get to work. Oh, yes. I love what you've done with your hair. Uh, for each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox, followed by all the numbers down to or up to zero. It's a countdown. You've got new commands. The They add one or subtract one from an item on the floor. The result is given back to you. And, for your convenience, also written back on the floor. Huh. Why does this game looks like it came from the makers of Little Inferno? I don't know, maybe because it was? Uh, let's see. So, this is going to be a bit of a thing. So we want to do inbox. Bump. Oh. Copy two. Zero. Bump zero. Let's watch this. Okay. So that's a, that's a bit of a pickle, and apparently I've smudged my glasses. It's bothering me. Um, how do I go about this one? I don't know. It's interesting, though. Total of 18 items. Optimization challenges. 10 or fewer commands? Wow. Hmm. I mean... What if I did... Okay. So followed by all the numbers down to zero. So we're going to want to jump through this. Let's just watch this for a second. So he bumps it, grabs it. Shoot. Nope, we don't want that, we don't want that, we don't want that. Uh, okay, so how about jump... If zero back up here, otherwise jump to the beginning of this loop. Oh, not to the beginning of that loop. The beginning of this one. There we go. Hmm. Let's watch this. Let's see if this works. Okay. Oh, crap. So we needed we need to get that zero. So jump if zero. Hmm. How about jump if negative? Yeah, we could probably do jump if negative. Cause it'll just cycle through those. Oh, jump if negative. Back to the beginning. Okay. So he'll cycle through all of these. The problem is, we got a negative. How do we deal with that? And how do how do we deal with the other ones too? 
I mean, obviously the first two instructions are easy. It's just surely the question of, what about the other one? I don't know. Um... How about we do jump if zero? Outbox. Unfortunately, this only allows for two more commands. Actually, that could work. So we do jump if negative. Hmm. Cause I can I can bring everything back to jump if zero to there. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, so the problem is if we pick up a negative number, it puts us in kind of an awkward situation. The concept of having an up. Wait. What do we do? I, you know what? It works no matter what, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. We need to add one. We can't subtract one. We'd be subtracting negative one. So that doesn't work. Okay. So we need a jump if negative to loop through it. How about just jump if negative... Outbox, bump plus. That's eight commands. So we've got the two looping things. The real issue is what happens with zero. Actually, what if we do jump if zero? Outbox. The only problem is this is only going to run once. Bad management. Wait, what? Oh. Right. Only if it's negative. So what if we do... See, we've already got ten. We've got a lot of... We've got a lot of meaningless tiles here. And uh, what I would like to do is have the jump if negative loop it through. Because the optimization challenge is 10 or fewer steps. So it needs a lot of... It needs a lot of... Uh, jump commands because there's that so we need we need to have the let's take out all the out boxes let's take out most of the jumps okay so we need an out box at the end these are the th five commands that we need how do we just fill this up with jump commands in such a way that we're good? I mean, if it's negative, that brings us back no matter what. I mean, we need this inbox copy too. A jump if negative all the way down to this. Jump all the way back to the beginning at the end. See, the only problem is this is just going to keep jumping. 
jumping and dumping. Oh, whoops. I did that wrong. There we go. So let's watch this. So it's not negative. Bad outbox. What did he do? So... He started with five. He copied it to there. He bumped it down. Oh. So the outbox needs to be above. So this will... This will... The problem is this will loop forever. if it's if it's zero we do the outbox there and then we bring it back to the top damn it what went wrong copy to the outbox brings it to the outbox empty value oh you can't jump to zero if it's out of the outbox Okay. What if... What if we take out both of these outboxes, actually? What if we don't need it? What if we need the outbox up top? And a jump down. Does that work? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is glorious. And I don't want to let it stop either, that's the thing. Like, I like it how everything else here is moving in real time. She's moving in real time, the snow outside is moving in real time. This guy is going like... It's fucking great, man. <laughs> Look, Wander, that's what the average government worker does. Okay, so part of the reason why I'm not stopping it... I want to see what happens when we get up to 990, negative 999. I think I know how to fix this, by the way. Uh, but I'm going to wait until then. Just because. Well, we're halfway there. Can I turn off the sound? Nope. I can't. I, I can only turn off the music. Fucking glorious. Alright, just about two-thirds of the way there. <laughs> this soundtrack is amazing. I, I don't even have words. I'm just kind of waiting it waiting for it to end waiting for the sweet release from this Ungodly noise This game really needs separate vo volume sliders. Honestly, it makes me really sad that it doesn't All right hundred to go. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Do you probably not? Okay about 60 left. <laughs> I just want to see if the numbers overflow, if the block gets bigger, or if it, or if it goes eh, wrong to you. Overflow, yep, okay, so you hit, you hit an end there. 
Okay, what if I just bring the jump up here? So I don't even need that, do I? Oh. Here's the one problem. We have this inbox copy to command at the very end. That does me no good. Okay, so let's do let's try that. No. I mean, okay, so we've got inbox copy to. So this works. What? No, it doesn't. Okay. So actually, we don't need this. Out we need the outbox there. So inbox, copy to, outbox. We can't jump if negative with empty hands. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. So this loops well. This one doesn't. Really, we need the outbox there, here, to be okay. I mean... Does this work? The process feels good. The worry is at some point we're going to have a command. Oh, we're gonna run, run into the issue. Of if zero. Okay, so that doesn't work. What if we just do jump, uh, if zero, back to the beginning? Damn it, empty value. Oh, he's already put it in the outbox, so that doesn't work. I mean, do I, do I need the jump if negative down here? Yes. Do I need this jump here? Yes. <sighs> this is hard. Because what I need to do is check. So here's the problem. He puts that there. And then immediately it's jump if zero. Now, I can't move that to the next one. I mean, I can. But it doesn't work. Because the moment we run into an issue with jump if zero, we leave it behind. And I can't start with an outbox command. I mean, so I need this jump. Do I need this jump? Yes. I don't know if I need that jump. I don't know if I need these outboxes. So, the real problem is we, we're doubling up on this outbox command when we don't need to be but I don't know how to get it to bypass.
This is why you need like four and if loops, but I don't have that. I mean, I sort of do, but it's like a limited version. Ugh. A hard puzzle. I've already been doing this for like 20 minutes. This is the, the li this is the first puzzle I'm doing for the night. Problem is I'm tired. I'm sure there's a there's a slower uh there's a there's another way I could do this, but still. You know what? No. The problem is it's like do I go for the optimization challenge? Cuz I don't want to just leave it up to everybody. I think this is why I will never stream this game again. Just because I get the feeling that most people probably aren't terribly interested in what what I'm doing, which is rough. And this is why I've stopped streaming most of my non-roguelike footage. So let's get rid of all these jump commands. Let's distill it down to what we had again. Let's copy it. Let's paste it. Now let's think. So the problem is you can't jump if negative after an outbox. What if we had a copy from in there? Just one. And jump of negative. Let's watch the magic. So this still runs into the issue. Of if it's zero. Alternatively. What if we do that? Did I get it? Did I get it? Am I a wizard? How much of a wizard am I, guys? I feel like a goddamn wizard. <gasps> yes! That's it! That's the proper solution! Fucking yeah! Shit, no it's not. My speed challenge is awful. Okay, so... Obviously there's one problem with my... With my efficiency here. I don't know what it is. I also don't give too many shits. I don't care. Whatever. That's one of them. If you guys can optimize my code further, that would be great. Otherwise, I'm going to be moving on. There's probably another one, but at least I got one of the lights. Hello. Seems like yet only yesterday, and we were learning about adding. Fond memories. We worked so hard back then. For each of the two things in the inbox, multiply them. And outbox the result. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. You've got labels. They can help you remember the purpose of each tile on the floor. Just tap any tile on the floor to edit. Okay. What? For each two things in the inbox, multiply them. Tell me more! Hope you enjoy your new label maker. I personally prefer to label just about everything. Copy to four? What? What does that even mean? Just stick a label on it and you'll never need to use the numbers again. I've also labeled my sandwich. So now you know which one not to eat. You're welcome. Okay, let's see the optimization on this one. Uh, 15 or fewer and 109 steps. So we've got copy from zero, copy to hello. Well, these are useless. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, we've got, we've got the zero there. We've got the hello. I'll keep the hello. So if we want to do six times four... Uh, 
I have no idea. I'm just gonna keep that for the time being. Took that motherfucker 20 years to start labeling sandwiches. I mean, maybe he's always been doing it. Who knows? I have no idea. This game is a nightmare. We're already 25 minutes in and I've solved literally one puzzle. Well, this is exciting. You know what? I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna call this episode here. We have solved one puzzle today. This... this series... I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll have to rethink, probably do some editing, maybe phone a friend. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Or I'll just keep phoning the audience for the next 60 episodes. I have no idea.